What exactly is human trafficking? Labor is being forced into doing agriculture, working in a factory, or even a food service. It can also be described as sex work. Women and children are often taken and shipped into slavery with the promise of greater things. They then realize that this was a horrible mistake and thus put into slavery. Later on in life, this is where many people who end up in brothels, strip clubs, and internet prostitution comes from. With no, with no childhood as it was taken away, it ruins the very fabric of the rest of their lives. As we all know, slavery has been going on for centuries. Human trafficking is just another word for it. Slave trading began around the 1400s in Africa, and in 1562, the British joined. From there, the slave trade flourished. In 1904, the International Agreement for the Suppression of White Slave Traffic was signed. This was to protect the young and old white women from being forced into prostitution. The League of Nations, after World War II, changed the suppression of white slave traffic to traffic in women and children, so there was no discrimination or race. Also, children of both genders were recognized as victims of trafficking. During World War II, Japan held stations for women where they were forced into prostitution, and if they did not agree, or they didn't, or they didn't want to, they were beat or killed. India initiated the Immoral Traffic Act, which persecutes the third parties involved in trafficking. These activities included running brothels, living on earnings from sex work, or capturing and imprisoning people against their will. According to the NHTRC, which is the National Human Trafficking Resource Center. There has been 6,051 calls this year and 1,654 human trafficking cases reported. 141 come just from Texas alone. It has been identified in three categories of high, moderate, or calls from victims and survivors. There's been 1,896 high indicators, 1,891 moderate indicators, and 965 calls from victims and survivors. There has been 1,220 sex trafficking cases, while only 200 labor trafficking and 68 of both combined. <clears throat> there has been 1,378 females and 178 males. So for every one male captured, seven or eight females have been taken. There has been 1,007 adults taken and 546 minors in 2016. Now she speaks up for herself and for others. She is a known, known well speaker and continues to bring more awareness to the subject and to the problem in Mexico. In Mexico, this is actually quite common because it is such a big problem, as well as in many other countries. Now she speaks up for herself and for others. She is a known, known well speaker and continues to bring more awareness to the subject and to the problem in Mexico. In Mexico, this is actually quite common because it is such a big problem as well as in many other countries. Okay. <clears throat> so, my idea... So, my idea as to how I would try to help combat this is, I'll first create an app for anybody that could download on their phone. It will give an extended knowledge on the subject of human trafficking and how to see those potential red flags indicating someone might be involved. 
I will, I will create a section in the case of an emergency with a button that will automatically call 911 and send out a pinpoint of where you are instantly. Then also a hotline below for potential human trafficking possibilities that seem too dangerous at the current situation. Then also a hotline below for potential human trafficking possibilities that seem too dangerous at the current situation. I would also create a part where you can send pictures using this idea of an image that we that we're looking for and certain knowledge as to how the situation is portrayed or how it's going down. This is just for your safety. The increased use of social media in schools. Schools provide the perfect opportunity for traffickers because they are popular with vulnerable victims. Especially with the increase in digital technology on school campuses, traffickers are finding that it's much easier to facilitate the, their crimes through simple text messages. For example, a study conducted by the Pew Research Internet Project reported that 75% of 12 to 17 year olds possess cell phones. Approximately 93% of 12 to 17 year olds go online and 63% of them do so every day. 54% of teens have also received unwanted text or spam and 15% have received sexually suggested text messages including nudes. The availability of mobile technology that children and teenagers have access to makes them especially vulnerable in, to a trafficking operation, even on a school campus. In an effort to prevent human trafficking through the use of digital technology, school personnel should implement policies that prohibit children and teenagers from using their cell phones on school grounds with the, except, except, with the exception of emergencies. Here's a potential red flag in academics for a child. Academically unengaged, performs under grade level, or sudden changes in academic performance. Behavioral, avoids eye contact, gaps in memory, or resists being touched. Physical, visible bruises or scars, appears malnourished or shows signs of drug or alcohol addiction. Emotional, low self-esteem, exhibits depression, anxiety, or fear, or exhibits sudden outbursts of anger.